Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to Collection Neo. And yes, I am back with another review for you guys. And as you can probably tell, we've got a big ass Dragon Ball Z statue. Um, this is the Exceed slash F4 Majin Vegeta versus SSJ2 Goku. Um, this is a quarter scale diorama. Um, this is an unlicensed piece, um, no license here, but I'll go into the reasons why I picked this piece up. This is a huge, ginormous piece. Um, I've just struggled to carry it over to our little reviewing spot. I should have probably just reviewed it where it was, but hey, let's get on with it. <laughs> um, so, what, 18 months ago, 12 months ago, Prime One decided to, that they were going to do a collab with Mega House and they were doing Dragon Ball Z pieces. Now, if you've seen my other reviews, I've probably, I've got about 10 Prime One pieces. Oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine um, Prime One pieces. And I love Prime One. They do great stuff. They do big, dynamic, definitive stuff. Um, so when they showed off their Goku with SSJ 1, 2, 3 and normal heads and a light up feature and all these electric effects and all the exploding ground, I was incredibly, incredibly excited. And then I saw the price, which I think was $1,200 or maybe $1,350. $1, I was like, oh, that's okay, I can handle that. I've paid $1,200 for Gurren Lagann, I can do that. And then I saw the shipping to the UK, which was another seven hundred dollars, and I was like, I can't pay, you know, two thousand dollars for this, and then pay another twenty percent in VAT, and then more in duty. I don't want to pay two grand for a Goku statue. That's two thousand pounds, which you know it wouldn't be. It'd probably be about eighteen, seventeen, eighteen hundred quid which is just nuts. Um, and I did want the deluxe version because I wanted the SSJ3 head. Um, and I was kind of depressed and lonely. <laughs> um, but, um, and then suddenly, Exceed put this up. Now this, guys, was $550 and $200 shipping. 750 bucks shipped to the UK. It was used with their with the um, courier system, which give, was goes through basically a European warehouse, so there was no um, custom fees either. So it's 750 bucks shipped, and for that we get a one four Goku, a one four Vegeta. We get a big diorama base because don't get me wrong, this statue is big. You can probably see the measuring tape right there. We are going to measure it. <laughs> which I know is unprecedented for me. Um, and I'm not spinning it because I've had to stand right back to get this sucker in. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, we're gonna pause, we're gonna start at the bottom, we're gonna work his way up and get in on some of the good details and not so good details on this. Now, many people say this is a grail piece. It's not a grail piece. Is it a damn good Dragon Ball piece? Yes. Is it a damn good Dragon Ball piece that's incredibly cheap? God, yes, it's a damn good Dragon Ball piece that's in 1 4 scale and has got two of the most important characters and is super cheap. Damn right, it is. Let's get close up. And we're back. So I've just measured it, guys, off camera, and it's actually 25 inches wide, 25 inches deep, 25 inches tall, or thereabouts, but it's basically a big 25 inch cube. So imagine that, I mean you can't, I mean when you measure these things, you know, you pull your little measuring tape out and you go, oh yeah it's that, but you don't quite get the overall volume of it. You know, it's a quarter scale diorama, it's a big boy. Now what we also got with this um, um, piece was a little authentication card. Which is all shiny and nice, I got number 175. I don't actually know what the... Um, Edition sizes. There you go, it's F4. F4 Studio from Fans for Fans. We're doing some rather nice stuff. I've also got their um, Final Fantasy 7 Remake statue on order as well, which is also um, shaping up to be pretty cool. 
So you get that as well. I think that's basically if you don't get that card, you haven't got an authentic one. Because we live in a world where third party unlicensed statues also get recast. I know, it's mad. So let's go over this big boy. Let's start from the base. And actually, probably my least favourite part, I hate this. I don't hate it, but it's it's not great. It's just like they needed something there. This um, trend, which was started by Sume, which, you know, is not a bad trend, but this, like, underbase. Now, this is quite cool because this is obviously um, bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. Um, bibbidi-bobbidi-bibbidi-bobbidi-bobbidi bobbidi ship. Um, so they've kind of gone for that theme. The paints are okay. It's kind of... Mm, it's a bit there. It's supposed. To, I think it's supposed to be like a weathered effect. It's not the best. I mean, this is the thing. This is why we're going to go over why this isn't a Grail. But that is by by not calling it a Grail. I hate the word Grail anyway. It's as nowhere. Here, it's it's still a fantastic piece. But this is okay. I'd prefer that not be there and just have the base. I think. Um, it's a little distracting. Also, when you have things like this, it kind of makes you want to display it like that. Whereas you might want to display it at other angles, and this does work to a few angles, but with that there, it kind of saying, hey, this is the front of the base, display me like this, and it's okay. And basically this purpley stuff with the black goes all the way around. What you can see as we go around is all these um, rock and smoke effects. Now, how one of the main issues on the paints on this is the blending of the smoke and the rock effects where they aren't separate pieces. Um, you know, it's not great. It looks okay. You know, like I say, this statue is more than fine. And for the price, you really, really can't moan. If this is a $1,500 custom piece or a $1,000 custom piece and then shipping on top or whatever, yeah, you could probably moan a little bit more. But as it stands, and let's move up a bit because that's just, that's, that purple base is just a purple base all the way around, guys. So let's go into these rocks. But all these rocks look nice. They're really well sculpted and everything looks great. There's a nice bit of texturing, bit of shading in there. We've got multiple colours, lots going on. A bit soft here and there, but um, you're not. To be honest, guys, this is the probably the you know the second time I've looked at the back of the statue since it came out. Um, what you do see is a lot of this. So like we've got. Um, these rocks just embedded on the smoke so like this one it just looks a bit soft it just looks a bit soft like there's no like real it looks a bit ice creamy with a flake on top um, whereas I'd like to see more definition between them it's fine it's totally totally fine guys you're not gonna but I know I know a lot of people have said oh yeah this isn't a great piece at all it is it's a great piece it's just not a flawless piece and you know for the money you know you could probably have this repainted like that that doesn't look great does it do you notice it when you're looking at it not at all but you know we're gonna we're gonna go over some fine details here um come back around a bit as you can see as we you know looking at this and all the rocks and all this what's going on you're not going to notice those lines at all. You know, it all looks great. Now, what doesn't look so great is this here. Just this bit of paintwork here isn't great whatsoever. Just looks a bit sloppy. The paintwork doesn't look good. The paint used doesn't look great. There's not much shading on going on. There's much texture going on. Again, you've got those like almost sloppy lines. Um, you know this this part of the paintwork here is definitely the worst bit of the entire statue but again it's fine you're looking at the statue from here you don't really notice it but um, yeah and, uh, but just going over piece count I mean all these smoke pieces these come out we've got a bit of a fitment issue here um, let's just go down a little bit just there along the um on the base and you can also see here just some of the details there it's just you know like the paints on that rock you know <laughs> creeping up um and then we've got a bit of a fitment issue here with the smoke effect it won't go in any further 
again for what I paid and you know it's it's a it's a third party piece I don't expect everything to be perfect if that was a sideshow piece or a prime one piece and I you know it's something official I'd definitely complain about that but um third party pieces like this a lot of them I just I'm just happy to get them and to be fair with exceed um like I say I've had pieces often before I've had pieces that have come broken before and um, they've replaced them which is you know something that some companies don't do figure army um so you know it's there is that after sales support so don't worry about that i mean the worst that can happen is that you get a broken piece and they'll replace it or you know they might give you a bit of cash back and say glue it but you know like i say large companies are doing that anyway figure army but um yeah let's move on to what we're here for goku and vegeta can we get high enough no let's pause this is what you're buying the statue for you're buying for a pretty decent Vegeta and Goku sculpt that's what you're looking at um, the texture work is actually pretty good on Vegeta and Goku um, it's there but it's not ridiculously overdone obviously being 1-4 helps so we've got this um, almost like basketball texture on the suit you know I'm not a massive fan of textures if you've watched um, any of my anime reviews I don't really like super hyper textured things especially in one six scale I think it looks terrible um, but apart from that the paints are really really good I mean if you compare this to like old VKH pieces and stuff like that where the paints were almost you know the, the faces and skin tones were almost grey um, this looks great the blood effects look nice clean the scratchies the hair looks great it's not that ridiculous yellow there's enough shading in there it's got that gold to it we've also got the um, halo up there which just pegs in the back of the head that's fine just a plastic piece actually quite a good effect it's not too bad at all um, all the electric pieces yes they could be thinner but obviously if you've got something thinner then you get might incur damage so all these came perfectly and there's enough I've heard people saying oh there should be more electricity around them but there's enough for me there's a couple of pieces on the on the base and then we've got a, this large piece on Goku and then a couple of pieces on Vegeta they all just tab in they have a magnet it's all just friction and I've like I say I've just carried it over from the display over to here and nothing's you know nothing felt like it was going to come loose nothing's come apart um, Goku plugs in the base and then is also we've got his foot supported on this piece of smoke which is quite well done and then Vegeta plugs in on the left there on his um, on his right foot and then it's basically supported on Goku um, he slots in and then this this piece here which is both hands is basically one piece that slots in and um, we will get up to Vegeta in a moment but I'm just going to have another look at Goku like I say it's a really good Goku I mean I've said it on very very early Dragon Ball reviews faces are really hard to get well they were but now like they're they've just they're just nailing it you know because I don't care what you say the Toriyama look is very unique you know and um, hard to capture I think especially going from 2d to 3d um, but I think studios now you know Sume and the likes and Ryu Studio and Infinity and um, Prime One and Mega House they're all capturing it Prime One and Mega House they're all capturing it really really well and we've got Vegeta there who just also just looks great you know the hair looks great um, really just enough lines just enough detail there um, not to take away from being the anime aesthetic but just enough there to be a little bit detailed and you can see that costume moon texture isn't overdone little scratches and bits and bobs everywhere eyes are really well picked out no googly eyes here so I try to take note and then what I'll try to do guys is while we're up here it is so hard to review large statues this is, I'm going to start reviewing 1H scale um, we'll just have a bit of a spin eh? but the pose is really good really dynamic um, does everything you'd want in a Majin Vegeta versus Goku fight in my opinion you can see the back here all well sculpted 
musculature isn't ridiculous, which I love. You know, no, neither of the characters even I hate that. And some sculpts, they're just the musculature is off the scale. And you can see the shading on Goku is really, really well done. The orange is really bright and vibrant. Um, like I say, guys, it's you know if you paid a lot of money for it, you'd be happy. Um, for the price it was um, going for, and then the shipping on top, especially for someone like myself in the UK, um, it was just um, a ridiculous um, amount of money for what you got. Came in one huge, huge box, which was quite nice. Um, all really, you know, the packaging's up there. There no, was any official release now. Um, this is the thing these days. There's quite a bit of stigma still about unlicensed pieces and what you're going to get and how you're going to get treated and is it going to stay stand up to the prototype. Usually they do, or at least you know, 70, 80, 90 percent, which is only what you can expect from any official company. I mean, even Prime ones had its bad days. Um, if you've seen their um, one three Lobo, you know that wasn't definitely wasn't up to proto levels. Um, but I think this is the thing with Exceed and what they've always done is they've done something that's achievable. Um, I'd much prefer to see something that's achievable and then executed well than um, um, trying to do something that's ridiculous and then not executing it well because that way just disappointment lies. Um, but yeah, it's a great piece. It's a def it's a great definitive Dragon Ball Z piece for me. Um, I. There's a lot of Goku and Vegeta's out there, guys. There's loads. I mean, you are not spo you are spoilt for choice, um, whether you go official or non-official. Um, what I have got coming is the KD Collectibles bro um, Bardock, which I love. But KD Collectibles are smashing it there. Piccolo, there, um, Namek Goku. Oh, some good stuff, my right, guys. I mean, they are six, seven, eight hundred dollars, but damn, damn. And I will review Bardock when it comes as well. Um, I, I think that's paid off next month so I'm guessing it'll be shipping soon but you never know especially with how things are going um, in this day and age but there you go guys it's been a while since I've done an unlicensed piece but um, I just could not review this one um, it's um, it's great like I say it's not a grail that everyone thought it was going to be but it's it's really good I mean I don't do ratings but you know it's a solid 8.5 out of 10 and probably two of that mark is coming from how cheap it is I mean people can say oh price doesn't matter as long as you get a good of course price matters it always matters um, and like I say 750 bucks and I've seen um, a few of these flying around in the UK for about 600 quid so yeah if you want a big ass resin of Dragon Ball and you know you just want one big one four piece I'd, I'd say this is probably the one I can't think of any other decent one four scale you know diorama pieces for this premise so um, there you go guys and um, that's um, the F4 um, Majin Vegeta this is SSJ2 Goku um, yeah if you see one pick it up highly recommended um, I don't know what I'm going to review next guys but um, keep watching and I'll keep making them oh I do know what's coming next actually it just came in today if you're following me on Instagram ha 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 at Collection Neo or Twitter at Dead Ghost Night. Is that right? Yeah. Um, links are down below, by the way. Um, then you'll know what's next. Sneaky, sneaky. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll um, see you next time. Bye.